Hello, welcome to another episode of your FM Wine Guide. I'm Jean, and today I'm here with my friend Megan, who knows all about cheese. So please tell us who you awesome. are and what you do. Well, thanks for having me, Dean. My name is Megan. I own Milkweed Catering here in Fargo, which is a cheese-centric catering company, which means I get to eat cheese all day, so Great. who doesn't love that? Um, but I do a lot of classes, a lot of education, a lot of pairing with cheese, um, trying to make it a little more approachable and fun for people. And um, I love to do things like this, pairing cheese and wine, and kind of letting people get more comfortable with the two products. Absolutely, cool. Well, obviously Megan and I fit together very well because I love wine, she loves cheese. Wine and cheese go to great together. One of the questions I get a lot is what kinds of wine should I have with cheese? Do all wines go with all cheeses? Or what kind of strategy should we come up with here? Um, Megan, what are some of the challenges that you find when trying to put together a good pairing? Yeah, I think the hard thing with cheese and wine is to kind of allow yourself to have a little slack and allow mm -hmm. yourself to just try and kind of play around. Because just like wine has vintages, cheese can be completely different sure. when you buy it. It depends upon the time of the year and what the animals are eating, how long it's been aged for. And so sometimes if you have a perfect pairing once, it may not be perfect the next time. So give yourself a little bit of slack and just play around with it and have fun because yeah. cheese and wine are meant to go together. Right. Um, so you just got to play. You got to eat a lot of wine and or eat a lot of cheese and drink yeah. a lot of wine. The thing that I like about it is they're both artisan products, a lot of very complex flavors and layers yes. and textures and acids, a lot of things to think about when you're trying to think about in both wine and cheese yes. uh, and how do they work together. And sometimes you get a magical pairing in your mouth and sometimes it just kind of falls flat and weird and yeah. experimentation but is it, good. Yeah, that's, that's just, yeah. just like anything else, you gotta play around. Cool. So we came up with three kind of general uh, good rules, places to start when it comes to wine and cheese pairing and three that really work together well. So what's the first cheese? We've got? Perfect. So the first cheese is a fresh chev from Montchev out of um, Wisconsin. Um, basically has no age on it. So you're getting okay. the closest flavor to an actual, um, to the animal's milk. So goat's milk cheese tends to be very lactic, very citrusy, mm -hmm. a little grassy and earthy. Um, when it's fresh like that. So you want a wine that's gonna be able to play off those flavors. Right, and when I do fresh, young cheeses like this, um, I always wanna go for a fresh, young, light, acidic, fruity, white wine. Really playful and easy to pair with that, and one of the classic pairings in the wine and cheese world. So today I have a New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc called Orchard Lane to go with this Chev, and it's gonna be amazing. Can't go wrong. Oh yeah, just right. Nice wine pairing for spring. Okay, what's the next one we've got? Yeah, so the next cheese that we have is called Dante, also comes out of Wisconsin. Okay. It's from a cooperative, meaning um, multiple farms are producing the milk, so you're gonna get a more in-depth flavor. Has some good age on it as well. A lot of people are afraid of sheep's milk cheese. Okay. Um, it can be a little barnyardy taste of the mm. animal, but when you add some age to it, it's gonna kind of develop those like nutty, caramelized notes that people really like in an mm -hmm. aged cheese. Um, and this one is a really good example. Very cool. Yeah, so another wine and cheese pairing idea is kind of what is from the same region goes well together. So this kind of style, I was thinking maybe Southern France mm -hmm. or sort of that herbal barnyardy sort of flavor, um, that nuttiness too. But I tried something that contrasted it actually yeah. and it worked really well. Uh, so sometimes the contrast is actually a more fun pairing. So today I have a dry Riesling from Germany. It's the Prinz von Hessen Hessenstein. Uh, German Riesling and it really punches up the flavor of the cheese and makes it really pretty with the fresh acidity of this wine. I agree. Yeah, sometimes it's either they're gonna meld very well or they're gonna kind of go like this. And yeah. They both can be beautiful. You just have mm -hmm. to decide what you're going for. I think that one's nice. All right, final cheese, one that everyone will like. Everybody loves this one. It's one of my favorite cheeses. It's Prairie Breeze from Milton Creamery out of Iowa. Um, it's totally snackable. It's really approachable. A um, little sharp but also nutty too, which mm -hmm. people really tend to like. Um, one of my favorites. I could eat yep. it all day. Yep. Cheddar cheese, the American cheese everyone's gonna love, uh, paired with a Zinfandel. I talked about the Zinfandel actually uh, two weeks ago on, on the blog and uh, it's just a, a wine that I think is very American to the palate. Lots of fruit, little alcohol, little spice. It goes really well with cheddar. Very easy. Drink it all afternoon. Uh, also, Zinfandel, uh, another cheese we don't have on the plate is blue cheese and Zinfandel works pretty well with blue cheese too. Uh, or the perfect pairing was in, uh, with blue cheese is actually port, something a little sweeter. Definitely port. We're not mm -hmm. going there today, but this would work also. So, lots of really fun ideas for your next cheese and wine party. Have a snack tonight and a glass of wine. Pick one of these. See you later. Thanks, Megan. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Thanks.